So, my name is Andrew Conlon and I'm a mathematician who's interested in understanding the spread of infectious diseases. Now, originally I actually trained as a physicist and I became interested in using maths um, to understand diseases when I became aware of and started studying a very famous data set of measles incidents in the United Kingdom during the past century, which we've got behind me on the board here. So this is a a graph of the reported cases of measles, which was an infectious disease, and still is an infectious disease, um, spread by a virus, um, from 1940 up to 2010. So measles in the early part of the last century would have been a very common experience, um, particularly for primary school children in the UK. It's as I said, caused by a virus, and it leads to a very characteristic red rash, red spots all over your body. So it was very easy to diagnose, and it's one of the reasons we're so confident in the quality of this data. Um, the other characteristic of measles was you only got it once. So it was quite an uncomfortable, quite an unpleasant disease to have, but once you'd had it, you'd never get it again. And this is why almost all of these cases were in primary school children between the years of five and 10 years old. So I'd like to just talk you through some of the features of this graph. So there's a lot of really interesting maths and really interesting biology in this graph. So the most striking period of time is between 1950 and 1970. And during these two decades, we saw this really dramatic pattern where there wasn't an epidemic of measles every year, but every second year. Now, this is quite different from the previous decade, where more or less there was an epidemic every year. And if we look forward in time, in the 1970s, there's a huge change in the dynamics of these disease reports. Um, so we see much less measles being reported, much more irregular in terms of when the big outbreaks were. And then in the last period of the data, the last 20 years, um, moving into our, our current century, we see that the reported incidence was practically nothing. Um, hugely reduced from the numbers of people where, um, who were having um, measles in the early part of the century. So we went from a period where everyone pretty much got measles to no one over really quite a short period of time. So what I'd like you to do with your teacher now is to talk about some of the things which might have changed over these periods which underlie the patterns that we see in this data.